I just took a nap between band practice and work. And the information that I have to interpret is pretty crazy because they clearly showed me how to prevent the retarded babies. I don't mean to sound rude, but the actual term is retarded, basically slowed down. And basically, the one, a couple of the ways that we know are for sure are don't have a child while intoxicated because there are there's looser composition to your DNA in your sperm and when you on the man's side on the woman's side same thing with receiving the sperm there's looser composition so it makes the DNA looser there's wetter materials there's it's basically going through a sea of toxic alcohol and being a tiny bit manipulated put it that way that's just the first piece in being intoxicated while having sex on the man's side if a man is smarter and more intelligent he passes more intelligence on in the sperm doesn't mean that every sperm is intelligent when a man is intelligent and let's say they're always producing some sperm a whole bunch of the time and some has already been there for a while it's a little more let's say, educated. It's been there for a little bit longer. It's a little more intelligent. When you're having sex, that vibe of in, of sensation, when you are in the moment and in control and you're thinking about it and you let your cum go or you have been going for a while and basically the more focus that you actually have on that area in your body and the more control you have over that area in your body, the more intelligent and the more developed the sperm that you have will be. So then, that's another part. And then, with this, basically with the woman, it's also, it's also a belief. Once you're pregnant, you have to try to get the thought of, is my baby going to be okay? That will affect your baby the most, is how you think your baby, baby's going to be. Worrying, and uh, both what you say it is going to be, and also what you think could be like you know to the to the degree of if you know it's going to be beautiful and healthy or if you're one of those that says i don't care if it's a boy or a girl as long as it's healthy and then like when you say that you think like what would happen if it's not i hope it's not oh i hope it's not or if you're like as long as it's healthy and you think because it's going to be healthy i'm taking care of myself and i'm sure of it that information goes to the baby information immediately so is a lot of the mom's thoughts, the dad's control, and both parents' intelligence levels. And, you know, if you just have hot, steamy sex when you're drunk, that's the worst time. Or if you just have hot, steamy sex and the guy comes really fast and he has undeveloped stuff, like he released it from, like, the the less intelligent level from not deeper down because it takes time to build. And it may seem like space time to us, but... Those sperms are so much smarter when you concentrate your energy. Say you last for an hour or two, and then you come when you want to, and you actually want to have a baby when you plan it. All of my kids are smart because I planned mine. Mine are all planned. The only one of mine that wasn't necessarily planned is Oliver. But he, he at the same time, like I, I always knew how to control. So... All my kids have started off with, with, luckily, no retardation. You know, it's pretty lucky. But everyone has some kind of uh, symptom or syndrome these days because they look for it. And as soon as a kid doesn't pay attention, they say, oh, they've got this. And this person's got ADD. And this one's got ADHD. And this one's got, you know, hyperactive child syndrome or something. You know, they just make something up. It's just something so they can put more pills down their throats. Oh, this kid's getting a little rambunctious, put a pill down his throat, because we don't want his imagination to go wild, and we don't want him to start understanding what's going on, you know. It's, it's sad, but uh, I love you guys. And I, just, I figured I should relay that message, but I don't think many people are going to listen to Like, I don't care what he says, I'm going to get super drunk and not learn how to control my orgasm and just bust it out whenever I want to. Think about it. When you, if you just super quick bust the nut out, like from rubbing one off, and that was the baby you had. Don't you think that would not have as much intelligence as one that you 
were making love and you intended for it to be this, you wanted to create life with this person, that is a big deal. The parents that plan their children don't usually have as many retarded babies, but then if the mother's worried, that can affect it too. So it's like it has to do with those main things I just said are exactly the things that if you want to have a healthy baby, that's what you do. That's what I was told by spirits. So, love you.